is the weekly warm-up, where every week I share free exercises to help you grow your vocal technique and know your voice better. Hi singers! I'm so excited for today's video because this is the first of three videos in a series about vibrato. I get so many questions about vibrato. Singers who want to add vibrato or eliminate it, speed it up, slow it down, make it less wobbly, or change it in some other way. So today we're going to introduce the idea of vibrato. I'm going to let you know what three elements of vibrato I think are key for really creating the vibrato that you want in your own singing. And then today I'm going to teach you the exercise to really help regulate your airflow, to keep it energized and steady. Now that energized steady air is the first essential pillar of vibrato and really the, uh, the, one of the essentials of really good singing in general. If you don't have sufficient airflow, you can think of your voice sort of like one of those things they have outside the mattress store or the car dealership where the air is kind of making them flop like this, right? Imagine your poor voice there trying to sustain without sufficient airflow to really keep it going. If there's not enough air flowing through, the system will deflate. So today we're gonna to really work on keeping that airflow steady so that we have something to work with. Next week, we'll be attacking the idea of placing the sound high. Now high placement is not a new idea. We've done tons of exercises before on that very idea. But when it comes to vibrato, placing the sound and therefore the vibrato up high is really essential because if we let our vibrato take place in the neck, we might get something sort of like ah, where the same pitch with vibrato placed higher up in the mask might be something more like ah. Finally, two weeks from now, I'll teach you my favorite exercise for really making the vibrato absolutely still. So this is for those times when you really wanna sing straight tone, add that very special straight color, or if you're working in a style that maybe requires a little bit less vibrato. And with that exercise, we're going to be feeling the effects of having a really taut, firm upper palate in the mouth. That'll be the finishing touch of our series. But for today, let's get started with the fundamental, which is that breath flow. So at this point in your practice, hopefully you will have done a little bit of breath exercise and gotten the breath moving right from that engaged out, released in cycle. And now we're going to put that breath into our voice with a nice steady pace using the syllables dooby 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 doo. It's gonna be very simple in terms of pitches. We're just gonna go somewhere in middle voice. Let's start here. And we're going to go dooby 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 Try that with me. Ready and breath. You can feel that on each one of those tiny little micro beats, we're kind of re-engaging the air because there's always something new happening. So now let's try and keep that pace of airflow as we sustain. What we'll do is the same two pitches, but now on just do. So let's do them together. We'll first do dooby dooby doo, then we'll take a breath and then we'll go right into a sustained do. Ready, breath. Breath. Got the hang of it? So now we're gonna give ourselves one more challenge, which is we're going to extend the do by doubling the length of time. Let's try this again. Ready, dooby doo first. Breath. And double. Now my hope is that while you're seeing those sustained versions, you're still mentally thinking, which is helping you to keep the air engaged and the flow continuing. If you didn't do that the first time around, let's just switch on those brain cells to be keeping that constant time and that constant activity, and let's do it one more time. Let's have a fresh starting pitch. Let's start here. Ready, and go. Breath. And double. great 
great exercise that you can use in a variety of ways. Maybe in another video, I'll show you how to use it to really tidy up rhythms and also how to create really, really smooth dynamic contrasts in terms of crescendos and decrescendos. But that's for another time. For today, we're gonna use it just to get our breath flow really primed and flowing so that we can continue our series next week with more work on vibrato. I hope you enjoyed this. Please let me know your questions and your comments in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for practicing.